idea for the movie. And then I started watching. I'm like, oh, uh oh, there's going to be an agenda. Or like, and then, but then they brought it back and it really, it did work out well at the end. Uh, I was saying, like, I don't usually like movies with an agenda. Um, I did like this one a little better than that, uh, just because there's star power in this movie. Yeah. Um, and this issue was, I will say, almost, I guess it is close to home to me. I'm a mixed race person. Uh, my wife is Jewish. Uh, I'm oh, half really? black, That's half white. Yeah. So, so, like, I had a lot of the funny things they say in that. Like, I've had these conversations. <laughs> some of the Jewish lawyer. Some of the, <laughs> I just realized. Some that. of like, yeah, like some um had some of these conversations before, and um so that was like I said, it was kids close home. I usually don't like the agenda movies, but. Uh, I personally, unlike other people, I can admit when I'm biased and the racial issue is an agenda that's close to me. So obviously I fucking like it. Yeah. So, uh, or I won't say like it, but I just, it, you know what I mean? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't annoy me. Like so, yeah. and like, I'm a real person. So I can admit that like, of course I care about my agendas more than other people's. Like, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I give a shit about fucking, uh, you know, no offense, the native Americans losing their land. Wow, you know what I mean? Racist, like, racist. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? They're my boys. So it's like, I'm not losing any sleep at night because yeah. they're, the pipelines are getting built through their shit. Like, uh, but it, 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 I won't agree with Tom. I think it was a little overwhelming. I think oh. the, the agenda, I think sometimes they let it get a little too out front, but I think that was, I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's what they were trying to do. So it's like this weird thing where like, sometimes I'm like this is a little too much, like, uh, but they reeled it back in. Eddie Murphy was dope. Jonah Hill, he was good the whole time. Oh, he yeah, so he got funny. to play himself too, where he's just like this. That's his best part. Unconfident, like fat white kid. Yeah. Very sarcastic. Yeah, who, uh, who's like, he, he, like, I guess he does know. He's good at, I don't know if he actually is familiar with black culture, but he plays a person. Oh, he definitely is. Nowadays he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, I just assume based on how well he plays it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I never see him out like in Jordans or anything. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know, but I don't follow him around. So, uh, but I felt like he was in his element. He got to play like a little, like you said, sarcastic, quirky little white boy. And uh, Eddie Murphy did a good job of razzing him. I thought it that was That was so yeah. funny. Every scene when it was him. And Eddie Murphy on screen was the funniest shit ever. I love the basketball one I was where he's recording him. He's so mad when he's doing good. He's like, you get that one? You get that one? <laughs> and then at the end of it, he's like, man, these guys are great. We got to come out here again. It's <laughs> a <laughs> shit. But yeah, that was funny. Uh, yeah, with this movie, I was I was entertained. Uh, unlike, uh, I will say there was, for my opinion, I, I should have written down, um, but there were some low moments for me. It was a two-hour movie versus an hour and a half yeah. one, so it is hard to compete with that. Um, obviously, you're gonna feel lulls. Um, but overall, I was I laughed a lot. Yeah, um, it, was, it was very funny. There was a lot of really funny, um, racially charged jokes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, they weren't afraid, and this is my biggest thing: is like uh, with comedies nowadays, you don't see a lot of funny comedies. It's very rare and not as mainstream. You don't see a lot of mainstream comedies as raunchy as this yeah. one. Somebody. And they, they really brought a lot of that into it. They, that was really it was happy. good that they got – that they was great scared. where they got Eddie Murphy. And I cannot think of this lady's name. Uh, I'm going to look it Just, up. Yeah, Google the, the cast. The chick from Seinfeld. Uh, oh, her, yeah. Yeah, she's in Seinfeld. But she's a Jewish comedian. And they got her and Eddie Murphy, who two goats in the game, who aren't afraid to make racial yeah. jokes. Like, they came up making racial jokes. And uh, Julia Lewis Dufro Dreyfus. Okay. We'll just say Julia. <laughs> Uh yeah I don't yeah Julia Differs okay so good I did I never knew that so <laughs> I just I thought it was gonna be something simple that can but she is a goat in the game like as a female uh, comedian actor yeah. and, and uh, they like weren't pulling there was just so many funny moments yeah. where like one thing is like you never touch a black girl's hair and yeah. she does the thing where she's like oh can I touch it like pulls it out of her <laughs> head and like <laughs> and it's just like shit like that or like it's just so funny or like uh or like. <laughs> if you're not a black person or Jewish person, you wouldn't know who like Louis Farrakhan is. And uh, the scene where he's like, oh, the minister Farrakhan gave me this thing. And, yeah. and Jonah Hill's like, I love Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> and Louis Farrakhan is like an a, a extreme Muslim who like hates the Jews. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I love him. And his mom's like, you love him? She's, <laughs> like, she's like, tell me what you love about yeah. him so much. And it's like just weird shit where like that, yeah. where I feel like I honestly thought that would never be in a movie where they yeah. would broach that in a movie, like in a nowadays, movie. With, nowadays. Yeah, nowadays. nowadays with two really famous people where they would broach Louis Farrakhan, like in the <laughs> defla like the inflammatory things he said about Jewish people, and like a black person, yeah. like not only that, but him like defending it or like both sides. I feel like now it's just like this conversation where like Louis Farrakhan is a monster. Like yeah. you know what I mean? You never get like, oh, well, this is why I agree with them, and 
And, it, yeah, like I said, to see in a movie, I don't even know. I mean, I'm pretty sure Eddie Murphy's not Muslim, but to see him even play somebody who supports yeah. Louis Farrakhan is, like I said, is a, is a, a good, like I said, something I like because – Louis Farrakhan does say a lot of crazy outlandish shit, but he also is like a powerful leader in the community. It's like, so you can, you, you can pick the good and the bad. He says a yeah. lot of good stuff too. But like I said, that was a really funny moment where like, I just thought, like you said, nowadays, I, don't, I didn't ever think that would be something we would see two A-list yeah. comedians. Like I said, three really, cause Jonah Hill's in the room yeah, too. He's now. Yeah. He's an A-lister. And, uh, and it's like to them to be doing a scene about that in general is like wild to yeah. me. And, then, and like I said, there was a few things where like he brought, he's like, She's like, are you comparing slavery to the Holocaust? And like, like, I'm not, but. <laughs> yeah, he's like, but. Yeah, like, and like I said, these are things. Um, these are actual conversations. Yeah, the too. conversations that happen. Like I said, growing up, like, in the black community and the Jewish community, were like, what's worse? You know what I mean? Who had it worse? You know what I mean? Slavery. They're like, we were slaves in Egypt. He's and like, all the, we were he's actually like the, the first slaves. Yeah, he's like, we're the first slaves. Yeah, we yeah. actually started it. Oh, it was fuck. the funniest shit ever. <laughs> yeah. I liked uh, her husband too. I'm gonna look up his name. Yeah. I forgot what he's been in a couple. He's things. from X Files. Oh it's, yeah, it's David something. Yeah, I know that. He was funny as shit. I liked it when uh, uh, Jonah Hill's girl first David came over. David Duchovny. Yeah. Okay. He first came over, and uh, oh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, the the dad started just playing the piano. Yeah, he playing the R and B song yeah. on the piano. <laughs> he's just being weird as fuck. He's yeah. like, I love Exhibit, man. Yeah, like the whole movie. Yeah, the whole movie. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about that. The whole movie he's talking about exhibit. They're doing their yeah, like they're at the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. And then like they don't they just cut to him. He's like at the end of giving yeah. the end of his like <laughs> congratulations speech at the engagement party. And he's like, Yeah, and he's like, Yeah, he grew up, his mom left him, and he's like, You know who that kid was? Exhibit. You know, like, <laughs> and you think he might be talking about Jonah Hill, and he's just he brings up exhibit like four different he times. Does. <laughs> he's like, Exhibit at Corn Rose or something. Yeah. This shit was funny. Oh man, yeah, there was a funny. A lot of stereotypical jokes where it's like, yeah, they, they usually just nowadays. don't broach them. And like I said, I like seeing some raunchy stuff like that. And I feel like people feel connected when their struggles, their arguments, and all that shit is out on the screen. Yeah. Instead of like pretending like we don't talk about that yeah. shit. Like, and I thought it was a good cr- thing. I thought Nia Long and Eddie Murphy, the mom and the, the black mom and dad, were hilarious. And she's yeah. like, I like when he invites them to dinner, and she's like. He's like, uh, she's like, we're not going to be arguing in front of this white boy right now. <laughs> He's like, shit like that. But no, this is, yeah, with this movie, uh, what I found really refreshing, and I think we both heavily agree on this, is the the no boundaries of the jokes that are being made. It, it's been a very, I can't recall uh, the last time, I, I think the 2015. The only thing I can think of. Is he's helped direct this movie and he was in it as well. The dude from what is it? Not Blackish. Oh, bla- he's the one who wrote Blackish. Wrote Blackish. Had, but what was his show on? Wokeish yeah. or yeah, Wokeish. Black as fuck. No, that's Black as fuck. Yeah, what it was. Black, black, as AF, fuck. yeah. He did Black as fuck was just like this. We're yeah. like, there's so that many, wasn't mainstream kept, though. No, it was. It was on Netflix. So yeah. like you people, but uh, but it wasn't promoted like this. And it's not Jonah Hill. It's yeah. not Eddie Murphy. You know, so it didn't get those shots. But his his show was just like the two where he made a lot of like. Yeah, that 400 was 400 years show. of slavery. Count, like, anytime anybody yeah. make fun of, like, he would be like, well, <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to watch good. that again. It's been a while. That was uh, a good that show. That was funny. I just remember there was, like, a running joke where he kept bringing up slavery yeah, and how many yeah. years ago it was. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so like I said, it's really refreshing. Um, they they broached a lot of jokes. That, like, I feel like it's just been gone for, like, 10 years. They yeah, been last time I could think of is, like, what, 2014, 15? Yeah. And they shed some night, like, on some realistic stuff where, like, Two blend like two families coming together trying to navigate each other's culture like that's yeah. a real thing people have like and they showed like the mom it came off as her like you thought she might be racist but it's like she just really doesn't know. know like and she's eager and like and in her culture like you know what I mean it's more comfortable when you ask like yeah. black people are more like don't touch my hair don't you know what I mean don't yeah. say that don't do that not saying that's right or wrong but that's just how, how that culture is, is yeah. where you don't do that you don't talk about that you don't say certain things. And, and certain other cultures are more like, yeah, we do talk about that. You can touch my hair. You yeah. can, you know, things like that. So it was good, like, to see, like, that's real life. It's not some offensive thing where, like, oh, you, would, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like people, would be like, if it was different actors or something like that and she ripped her weave off, they might be like, oh, that's offensive. Yeah. Be, let's be offended by everything. Like, that shit was funny. Like, yeah, it was. And it's like anybody who has multi-race friends think like that is funny yeah. like you probably even seen that happen to a girl before like that's fun that's comedy like and uh sometimes a f- like something you might find offensive 
is still comedy just because yeah. you don't like it or you're like if that happened to me You'll i'd be fucking humiliated style, yeah. or whatever it's like yeah that's why it's fucking funny like that's why they did it like yeah there was uh the scene when uh when the that's why i was trying to remember earlier but it's when jonah hill first introduced his uh girl to his family and it, obviously the whole scene was funny but it was like uh the over they did it true to like realistically like what would happen i was a little more comedic but like i i was dating a girl at a time i won't name drop her because bitch you can't get this clout <laughs> um but she was hispanic and she met my mom and uh my stepdad and so she wasn't documented or whatever but my mom like my my stepdad like so what do you think about truck i'm like she's an undocumented <laughs> like what the fuck and like and then my mom was like, "So how'd you get over?" I'm like, "Why are we asking yeah, these I'm, fucking I'm, questions?" Yeah, I feel like that's the movie. The movie like was that like is like that, so like, realistic. It's like, like you walk in. It's like we all have moms. So it's like you know your mom's gonna ask that stupid ass yeah. question. Like your your mom's be the did. smartest person in the world, and she's gonna ask the silliest stupid question. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was nice and awkward. Uh, there was just a lot of funny moments where like Jonah Hill takes his dad, his her parents to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles <laughs> to ask if he could. Marry. She's like, "Why did you take my parents to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles?" He's like, "I didn't know." He's like. <laughs> He's like, I come down here all the time. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I come here all the time. <laughs> he's like, this one, right? And that's why Eddie Murphy's too funny because, like, every time, you know, you, when people do that awkward, polite thing where they pretend like he said, like, oh, I come here all the time, like, <coughs> Eddie Murphy would, like, lean into it. Yeah. And, like, oh, yeah, really? You do? And he started asking questions. That's why the basketball scene was so funny because he, fi- like, he finally actually lived up to the shit he was talking. Yeah. Where, like. Eddie Murphy at all movie have been calling him out, like you said, like, oh, when he's about to say the N- or he didn't say the N word, but the guy's saying the N word in the song. Yeah. He's and like, he's, uh, he's like, what are they talking about? And like, he's trying to, he's just messing with like, I think some pals in Paris, right? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, and, and, uh, it's so the basketball moment. one was really great because he comes out, he kind of looks kind of weak, he gets yeah. stripped, and then he's just killing. And yeah. it was just really funny where it's, he finally gave him some pie in uh, Eddie Murphy's face. Uh, 